For this week's assignment, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need some scissors, you're gonna need a water bottle, and you're gonna need some acrylic or tempera paint, not watercolor, cause it's not gonna be able to hold there. Now, a couple of substitutions. Remember, if you don't have a brush, um, you can always use any of the materials that we mentioned a couple of classes ago for brushes. You're gonna need a container with some water. And if you don't have a palette, you can always use um, a piece of paper or a piece of aluminum foil to put your paint onto it. For those of you that don't have paint at home, remember you're going to be doing this on Google Canvas. So because this week is um, actually Earth Day week, we're gonna try to use recycling materials to make art. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take off the top from uh, the bottle. Please make sure the bottle's empty, otherwise this can get pretty messy, I'm pretty sure you know. And we're gonna go ahead and just flatten it with your fingers. Now, after the water, the water bottle is pretty much flat, you're going to go ahead and use your scissors. Cut off the label because we don't want that anymore. And then with your scissors, on uh, the corners over here, we're going to go ahead and cut in little triangles. So go in. Take out one piece so it looks like a little triangle. Like this. And then you're going to go on the other side and go ahead and cut it. Make sure you don't cut to the point that your little triangles are actually touching. And it looks a little bit like this. Okay. Now, after you have that, and your, bottle, uh, your water bottle is going to look a tiny bit weird like this, but we're going to go ahead and turn it into a fish. Now, remember, you never have to use the same colors that I use when I'm painting something. You can use the colors that you please. So I have my colors ready. I'm going to put my fish here. And then make sure that you have a napkin with you so that when you're um, changing colors, you're good to go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and paint this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this side over here the part of the fish's uh, head and face. And the rest of it is going to be the fish's body. So, again, you can go ahead and paint it whatever colors you like. That's truthfully up to you. Make sure you get in between the creases so that your fish doesn't have a bunch of like random lines. I wanna start with white so I can paint a little face on afterwards. Now, you don't have to paint both sides of the fish. Uh, one, that's a waste of paint, and two, if you were to put it down, it would just dirty whatever surface you're painting on, so you only have to paint one side. And then naturally, the side that you paint, that's the side you're gonna take a picture of and then attach to your document. sides just to hide it the front is done and then I'm gonna add more paint to what's gonna be my little fish's tail um, for those of you that don't have paint at home and you're doing this on canvas it might be a really good idea to simply find a water bottle image on Google and then paste it into your canvas and then draw on that water bottle instead, since the whole idea is recycling. Almost done with the tail. Okay, so my fish basically has, it's after you paint your fish um, its base color, Remember that you always should wash your brush in between switching colors and make sure you pat your dry, pat your brush dry so that you make sure you're not adding too much color with um, too much water with the next color that you're using. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and just start using the color that I want my fish to be. Keep in mind that because I just painted it, um, my blue, the blue that I'm about to attach is going to mix in a tiny bit with the white that I have in the background. If you don't want your colors to mix, then you're simply gonna have to wait a little bit, make sure the white paint dries before you move on to this step. 
but I actually don't mind if it does mix. So it doesn't make a difference to me. Now, remember the fish that you paint does not have to be the same design of fish that I do. So please keep that in mind. I just wanna go ahead and make my fish a little bit interesting. I don't really have anything too crazy in mind. I wanna make sure I leave some space up top here because that's where we're gonna put the little eye. Make sure I'm patting it dry. And then I want a little bit of this bright orange over here. And I'm gonna add that in between some of my little blue designs, just so it could pop. And then if you have googly eyes, you can go ahead and glue down a googly eye where the eye is supposed to be. So that's what I'm going to do. If you don't have googly eyes, then you would just paint a little eyeball on. Nothing too crazy. I'm opening googly eyes. I just want to make sure I choose one that fits with the size that I have here. This one seems fine. Now, normally I would put some glue here, but instead I'm going to use my paint as a tiny bit of glue. And they'll attach together. And I'll just press it down so I have my little fish. And I want to make sure I'm not missing any details. I think I need to work on the little mouth part. So I'll do that. Add lip mouth. This one I think I'll do in a different color just so he has some character. Just a little line. Nothing too crazy so we can tell he's in my little fish. And then I'll just make this a different color. my fish my water bottle recycling fish <laughs> 